say the same thing. We love this music. It's smart, you know, it's smart, good old country music. Heartfelt, honest. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that's like, that's just bonus, you know. And so that is what drew you to playing these roles? You know, she symbolizes so much. Not only is, you know, you can, uh, some of her songs are so uh, well known. Stand by your man, you know, apartment number nine, some of her earlier hits, some of the duets with George Jones. I mean, uh, she's associated with the heartbreak and, and so she's just a larger than life figure. And uh, to put that into story is, is pretty fantastic. Now, is she someone that you were a big fan of when you were growing up? Or it's more that you've come to her music as you have matured in your own music career? It's, it's interesting. It's a, it's a kind of a weird thing to say when you grow up around these people, just because of, of my background. Um, fan isn't the word. I just knew it so well. Uh, I, I still revered these people. I thought they were, you know, fantastic. Uh, and I knew the difference. I knew they were about ten notches higher in some form or fashion, you know, because of their, their, their fame and, and what they did, the fact that they stepped out on stage to do their work and everything. But it was more of a manner of just kind of being really aware of them. You know, younger, I, I just wouldn't have called myself a fan yet. It's just, I just kind of knew it and I was around it. Later I became, I knew it and was a fan, if that makes any sense. Oh, I think it does from what you know as a child that yeah. you just accept as part of right. what you are to actually being enthusiastic about it. Absolutely, yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Um, and Larry, I think you have played the role of George Jones many times before. I think yeah. you actually did the role at, in the national tour of the, the show. the first national tour of this show. And uh, it's interesting, you know, as you travel around the country, I mean, we all know who these people are as a result of you know, our upbringing or, or listening to the radio, but you travel around the country and you get a sense of how many people they really truly touched. I mean, we would go to places like Spokane, Washington, and Bennington, Vermont, and the smaller places that, you know, not necessarily small places, but not places that you would think of as hotbeds of country music fandom, and people would turn out and just adore these people and, and just the chance to, to even just hear the songs or see their lives portrayed specifically together more so than separately. There was a large, uh, there's like a, a George Jones cluster, a Tammy Wynette cluster, but the largest sort of fan base was them together. And it was interesting how many people were just really pulling for you. And they know the ultimate outcome. They know that they were not able to live together and that they were divorced and that she uh, you know, died uh, very, tragically, but at the same time, they, they still pull for you. You can feel it on stage, and when you're doing this role, you feel them wanting you to stay together, even though they know the ultimate Oh, interesting. Outcome. It's really interesting. It's a reliving the past yeah. and, and wanting to hang on to what kept what made them come together to begin with. Yeah, I think so, for a lot of people. It's just it's that sort of hope and uh, you know, springing eternal of, for their own lives, I guess. It was just really neat. If you've done the national tour, mm -hmm. here's another opportunity to do it at the Mountain Playhouse. Mm -hmm. How do you keep your performance, um, how do you, uh, fresh, and how, what is the interest in continuing with the role? Two things. For me, um, the opportunity to work with Carrie, um, who is so close to this music that she sort of exudes it. So it's, it, it's, it's just a joy to kind of sing with someone who is so, DNA connected to this um, this whole music. So for me, it's just a, like a kid in a candy store, you know, to sing with someone who is this um, innately knowledgeable about country music, which I, I love this music. Secondly, working with Guy Stroman on this piece, uh, I have found over the times that I've worked with Guy, it's just fascinating to me what he can bring uh, to productions as far as levels of uh, um, understanding and uh, for this character for George Jones um, he's such a hugely iconic figure in country music both he and Tammy and as well as others um, that it's difficult to see them as three-dimensional people 
Mm -hmm. um, and I think with Guy's sort of understanding and, and uh, knowledge and sort of gentle persuasion into that, we don't, ordinarily you would run the risk of just making them big stars and they can't live together. But here we're sort of dealing with them as, as real people and it's, it's a really great opportunity and it's, it's just so much fun. Along with this production of Stand By Your Man that opens on Tuesday, this coming Tuesday, June 3rd, after the performance that evening, we will be having a opening night party, which is doubling as a CD release party yeah. for Carrie's new CD round trip. Yes, I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled, first of all. Uh, this was a project that wasn't initially supposed to happen until much later on in the fall. Uh, the idea for the album, it, it started about two years ago when I was going in between New York and Nashville. Hence the, hence the you know, the name, Round Trip, and everything was happening. I kept, I was just in the circle between the two places. You know, you think two very different places, and they are. Um, but I really, I had taken a year off, and a the first songs I wrote at home in Nashville on our family farm and then got back to New York and penned the last the last several you know of the album when we realized you know this would be a great um, let's get this project going we've got these songs here let's 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 round this out you know and and Larry co-wrote a couple of the tunes on there with me which is really great um, yeah we've had a lot of fun writing together. So all of a sudden we had this this album and uh, uh, not too much, too long or after, after that we signed on to do the Tammy Wynette story and I thought you know this would be a great homage you know uh, not only do I get to do my theatrical work here but I get to um, you know I get to it's kind of like a, a big thanks to my family and my roots and with this country show, let's do this country album. And so we were ready, ready for a release. Sure. You know? We pushed the uh, production a little bit to, to get it done in time. Yeah, so. my brother Sonny produced the album. We went into Nashville to the studios out at our farm, and um, we sang, uh, sang did, did all the vocals and background work. So it's a it's a family project too. It was great to have my brother's a great songwriter and producer. And uh, we got her done. Yeah. And just like one of the, the last song on the uh, on the uh, album is called "Sliding in Sideways," which is what we did. We were getting this, <laughs> we we're getting the CD straight off the presses. It's like printing as we speak. Right now. So they'll be ready for the opening, which everybody mm -hmm. can get a copy, and we'll meet and, and sign CDs and visit with everybody, and we'll just kick off a great production. You know, and a great summer. And, and we're just. We're, we're thrilled that we can do this along with Mountain Playhouse. You know? Well, congratulations on yeah. that CD. Thanks. That's fantastic. I can't wait to hear it. Thank you. <laughs> anything else you want to say about the show or the upcoming production or your CD release or anything? I'm just glad to be back here. It's a wonderful place. And, and to get to do this with Carrie is just uh, kind of a dream come true. So I'm really pleased about this. Yeah, it's kind of a, like I talked about the CD being kind of a family affair. When you get to come back to a place and you know people and it feels like kind of, it's very, uh, you know, heartfelt and, and a warm environment to be back in and to be able to do what you do in such a great environment is, uh, is tremendous. And I think it plays out on the stage, you know, and I think it's something, this show in particular is something that a lot of people are going to, um, they're going to be happy they came to see it, I think. Yeah. Great. Okay. Well, thank you guys. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Thanks.